This is the weather forecast video for Saturday, March 17th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, some cloudiness across Texas and Oklahoma and also across the southeast with a disturbance there. But the big weather feature is this big storm over the west producing some rain and mountain snow in that area. Watch morning map from around midnight. Numerous red flag warnings across the high plains, some winter weather issues across Arizona, Nevada, the Sierra Mount, Nevada mountain range, and some wind advisories there, while from the Mississippi River east, it's quiet. KPF chart precipitation for the next five days through Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock shows some heavy amounts of precip possible, even across our state, from a half an inch upwards to maybe two inches over the southeastern parts of the state. We'll take a look at it here on the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. this afternoon. That ridge is still over the eastern two-thirds of the country with that trough over the west. And there still could be a chance, a slightly better chance today of a shower or thunderstorm, namely in the late afternoon and evening, and not everybody is going to get wet. Same goes for Sunday. A chance of a isolated shower or storm. Meanwhile, temperatures still near or over record highs, 70s, 80s, somewhat humid. Even into Monday, chances get a lot better for uh, some shower and thunderstorm activity with a frontal system moving closer. Could there be some severe weather? We'll have to wait and see. Even on to Tuesday, pretty decent shot at some showers and thunderstorms from about Minneapolis to Des Moines, Kansas City, Tulsa, Fort Smith, Arkansas, and east of Dallas, Texas. But Wednesday, that storm seems to begin to fall apart a bit with that high pressure off the Carolina and Virginia coast that's keeping the storm from really moving eastward, and it begins to slow down and now stall over Kansas and Oklahoma and with that we could see some isolated shots of showers and storms into the middle of next week even into friday the upper level feature is over missouri but here the model shows no precip around here although we can't rule out an isolated shower or storm then either but by next saturday a week from today the 24th it's finally going to be moving off to the east and that'll be taking the isolated precipitation threat with it into the Ohio Valley and into the Northeast and all this time it's still going to remain warm although temperatures will drop off into the 60s for highs instead of the 70s and 80s. A few days later on the 26th or 28th excuse me we have another uh, piece of energy coming through with some shower and thunderstorm activity possible then with a ridge still keeping the warm air over us. Still, this doesn't look as warm as what's been going on, 70s or 80s. It looks like 60s. And at the end of the forecast on the 1st of April, when we should be starting to get this warm, but we've already been this warm, we have a trough over the west, a ridge over the east, and right in the middle, some shower and maybe some thunderstorm activity again. So this pattern just doesn't seem to want to end warmer than normal and more summer-like than spring-like. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one on Sunday.